everyone. Welcome to our closing celebration of our virtual VBS. I'm here with Miss Kathy. Hi. And Cam Trax. Hey guys. Now if this were our normal in-person VBS, we'd be gathering here in the sanctuary to sing and dance for our parents. But even though we can't meet in person, we still want you to go and grab your parents and put them right in front of the computer or TV. Now also, take this time to grab your Bible gadgets and your Bible buddies so we can share and so that you can share all the things that we've learned and done this week. It was a great, great week. I hope you all enjoyed it as much as we did, but we wanna know what your favorite part of the week was. Was your favorite part of the week the singing and dancing? And if so, what was your favorite song? Was your favorite part of the week the kid vid videos? And if so, which one was your favorite? If your favorite part of the week was Bible stories with Ms. Sheila, Think about which of the stories you most related to. And if your favorite part of the week was Imagination Station, think about which crazy science-y gizmo gadget you like the best. Turn right now and talk to your parents about which one you like the best, or type it in the chat. While you're doing that, I'm going to ask my friends. Hey, Cam, what was your favorite part of the week? I definitely think Imagination Station was my favorite. Oh, great. And Tori, what was your favorite? My favorite part was Miss Sheila and Bible Adventures. What great answers you guys wrote in the chat. One of the best parts of VBS is singing and dancing to our awesome songs. Now get up where you're from, your, from where you're sitting. It's time to do my favorite song, the Power Shuffle. Maybe you can teach your mom and dad how to do it.
from Post Ferry again. Well, thank you for joining us this week for Virtual BBS. We hope you had a great time, and we hope that you let us know what your favorite part of this week was. Can't wait to hear it. Hope you had a great time, and you know here at Coast Ferry, we love you all. Hmm. Now let's think back and try to remember all the things we've learned. Whenever you hear a Bible point for one of the days, don't forget to pull on your trend whistle and say, Trust Jesus! Can anyone remember what the Bible point was for Monday? Hmm, that's it. We learned that Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Trust Trust Jesus. The Bible story from Monday was one of my favorites. It was about a man named Paul who was really, really mean to the early Christians. One One day, Jesus visited Paul, and Paul was struck blind. He couldn't see anything. God sent Ananias who was a Christian, to pray over Paul. But guess what? Ananias was afraid. He was afraid to go and pray over Paul because Paul had been so mean. But Ananias knew that Jesus was with him. So so Ananias went and he prayed with Paul. And Paul got his vision back. It was a miracle. Ananias did something that was hard for him. And we know that Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Trust Trust Jesus. We also made those fun off-reel rollers in Imagination Station and met our Bible buddy Ramsey that day. On Tuesday, we learned that Jesus' power gives us hope. Trust Trust Jesus. Jesus. And we got to do one of the coolest gadgets in Imagination Station, at least I thought so, what's called the Hope and Hover, okay? So what we learned is, is that every time, all of us have a hard time sometimes. And when we have a hard time, we can pretend that we're, um, no, not pretend, but we can blow in this flute and remind ourselves that this is like the hope we have in Jesus. So when we have a hard time, we can remember the hope we have in Jesus and we get get a much better feeling and we get the hope that we have in Jesus, okay? Some other times, we may have a friend that's having a really bad day. They're having a really hard time. This is our friend. And we share the love and hope we have in Jesus with our friend. And guess what? They feel better. And then sometimes we can just celebrate the hope we have in Jesus, all of us together. Now show your family how the hope and hover works. And you can also show them your Bible buddy from Tuesday, which is Ava. On Wednesday, we learn that Jesus' power helps us be bold. Trust Trust Jesus. Jesus. We met Lauren in Kid Vid Cinema, who boldly shares Jesus' love by serving meals to people in need. On Thursday, we uh, played with the, uh, this little gadget in Imagination Station, and it was really fun. Do you remember? Do you still have yours? They were easy to lose. They bounced really high. They jumped everywhere. And um, it reminds us of our bubble buddy, Sierra, who also could jump really, really high. Let's show our families another favorite song with this train. Let's get up and sing and dance together. This train is bound. 
Scott from David United Methodist Church. Thank you so much for joining us this week. We hope you had a great time at our virtual BBS. Let us know what your favorite part of BBS was. We can't wait to hear about it. Thanks for coming. We love you. We hope to see you soon. Bye. I've loved getting to do this BBS all together. You know, we're our brothers and sisters because we're all people who follow Jesus. We trust and believe that he died for us and he came back to life for us. And because of that, Jesus' power lets us live forever. Trust Jesus. And that is what we learned on Thursday. If we believe in Jesus, we can live with him forever when our journey on this earth is finished. It was my favorite theme for the week. Can we please say it one more time? Jesus' power lets us live forever. Trust Jesus. Finally, on Friday, we heard about Jesus' power helps us be good friends. Trust Jesus. We met our Bible buddy, Lawrence Elk, and we made our power bands, which reminds us to love each other in the same way Jesus has loved you. You know, this VBS has shown us that even though we all come from different churches, we're all good friends because of Jesus' power. Let's hear from one more of our partner churches now. Hey kids, it's David and Ron from, from Plantation, Plantation Presbyterian, Presbyterian Church. Thank, Thank you so much, much for joining us this, this week. We hope you had a great time at our virtual VBS. Let us know what your favorite part of VBS was. We can't, we can't wait, wait to, to hear, hear all about it. Love you all, and, and hope, hope to see you soon. We've learned a lot this week. Through it all, I saw God at work. That's what a God setting is, when you see God at work. We wrote down our God settings on post-it notes. Now take those out and share your God settings with your family members. And type it in the chat also. Now Cam, where did you see God this week? I saw God this week in the sunset. Ooh, Kathy, where did you see God this week? I saw God this week when Henry and Caitlin both gave me a hug just because. You know what? I see God in each and every one of you. You know I can't see you, but I know that you're out there and you're participating and you're dancing and you're learning and you're loving God. So I see God in each one of you. So I want you to take a minute and we're going to watch a video of a slideshow of videos and the pictures that you've sent in this week from what you've been doing at home while the video's been on. Take a look.
come so often to see all the fun you used to have at VBS, and you see God at work. Now, I have a special guest with me right now, one of our pastors from Plantation United Methodist Church, Pastor Kathy. And even though she hasn't been seen on screen that much, she's been behind the scenes from the very beginning. And help me give a warm welcome to Pastor Kathy. Yay! Hey, everybody. Hey, boys and girls, parents and grandparents. It has been a wonderful week. Um, and when we gathered and when the leaders gathered in early May and we weren't sure what to do, we thought, you know what, why don't we try a virtual, a, a virtual VBS this year? And it has gone above and beyond what we even thought possible. So I want to thank those people that made this virtual VBS possible. And so I'll pause at several moments and invite you to hoop and holler and clap and applause, or you can say thank you in the chat um, so that we can show um, to those who made this possible our appreciation. I want to thank the two directors from Plantation UMC, those that have spearheaded this effort. Um, the first is Miss Lisa. She wasn't able to be here today, um, but we want to thank her for all her work that she put in. And also our co-director, Miss Tori, right here. She's also one of our co-directors. She did a fantastic job. We also want to thank all of the leaders from um, all of the other churches. Uh, so Miss Pat from Cokesbury United Methodist, Miss Nancy from Dave United Methodist, Miss Tammy from Our Savior Lutheran, Pastor David from Plantation Presbyterian, and Miss Sharon from Village United Methodist. Thank you to all of our VBS leaders. Let's give it up for our VBS leaders. Woo! We also want to thank all of the volunteers who were on screen, our four station leaders. We had uh, Miss, uh, Miss Meredith and Miss Kathy, who's here today, and Miss uh, Jordan and Miss Sheila. They did amazing, didn't they? And then we also want to thank all of our youth who were also on screen. Faith and Paige and their friends, Sierra, G, Bryce, Grace, Olivia, Layla, and William. And then we have the wonderful Cam Track over here who we know better as Kyla. She did a great job as well. So let's take a moment and thank all the people who were in front of the camera. Woohoo! Woo! Woo! Now, of course, a virtual VBS is not possible without the people behind the camera. So we, want, we need to give our tech support a this huge shout out. So um, let's see, we have Josh and G and Tyler um, and Doug who were behind the camera at different points of our recording of it. We also had Miss Natalie in the sound loft um, who was uh, making sure we sounded good the whole time. So she did a great, great job as well. Natalie and Josh also edited a lot of our video clips, and Natalie also put together the slideshow that, was, um, that we just watched, so she did a great job. We also had uh, Tyler as well helping with some of the tech. Kyla, Bryce, um, Lainey, and a few other youth also helped with the set because we had to put together all of the set as well. And we had Hannah, who was our online chat moderator and did a fantastic job. So let's thank all the people behind the scenes that made that happen. Woo! And last but not least, there was one person who made all of this possible, one person that this would not have happened without. Um, and I'm going to ask him to come up. He hasn't been in front of the camera this entire time. Um, but everyone, uh, this is the guy who made this possible. He has been the one that has been up. He directed all the recording sessions, first of all. But then he edited and put together all the videos. Can you imagine making a seven and a half hour movie? Well, that's what this guy had to do. He spent many hours and days and sleepless nights doing it. Um, and so we owe this whole thing to him. So please hoot and holler for the man of the week, Mr. Manu Batnagar, our tech director. Thank you, everyone, for all your support. I, I could not do this without the amazing tech crew and all the pastors and leaders who helped put this together. It was an honor being part of the team. And it was so special to see all you guys dancing and singing out there. It made every hour worth it. So thank you so much. This was an amazing thing to do together as a church. Don't leave yet, Manu. Here you go. A token of our appreciation. <laughs> thank you. You're welcome. One more hoon holler for Manu and all of our volunteers and leaders. All right. Now, we are going to now jump up and sing what my, is my favorite song and might be your favorite song as well. It is our... 
theme song, so let's sing it really strong this last time. Your power will pull us through. Thank you to everyone for joining us this week. During this season of social distancing, don't forget to connect with your church family. And even though we can't meet in person, it's still important to connect with everyone through the options that your church gives you, like joining your church worship services or joining any Zoom calls they have to offer. Now, now get involved in your church is very important, not during just the week of VBS, but all year round. And don't forget that. Now, Pastor Kathy will close us out with a prayer. All right. This time for our closing prayer, I will invite all of you to repeat after me. So let's pray together. Fold your hands, bow your heads. Thank you, Jesus. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. For this awesome week. For this, for this awesome, awesome week. week. Help us to trust your power. Help, help us, us to trust, trust your, your power. power. To help us do hard things. To help us do hard things. To give us hope. To, to give us hope. To help us be bold. To help, to help us be bold. bold. To let us live forever. To let us live forever. And to help us be good friends. And to help us be good friends. We do trust you. We do trust you. And trust in your name. And trust in your name. Amen. Amen. 
Well, thank you again, everybody, for riding the Rocky Railway. And remember, Jesus' power pulls us through. Trust Jesus. Bye. Bye.